Hey guys, what's up? This is Puppet Master eight seven six five, and um, this is Inferno. Um, if you haven't, if you haven't seen this or don't know what it is, you should probably check out my other video that I made explaining what Inferno is. Uh, there'll be an annotation annotation on the screen and link in the description for it. But um, this is I added a new design here, and as you can see, I always have full on sulfur because I barely ever use it. In the beginning, just to unlock these, it's basically like the putty. But this is a new design that I have come up with, and the monsters or the guys on the map, Moloch's minions, are they get harder to kill. Like at 21, they have these two magma towers and the earthquake towers, which still you can't build yet. But uh, looking forward to being able to do that because they are pretty awesome. But they got traps right here, just so you know. Just warning you here. Traps on both those sides. So the best way to do it is kill them on the side with the Zagnoids. And later in this video, um, I will be showing you how I usually destroy the base. So I'm just going to pause, go ahead, and um, build some Zagnoids. Uh, I believe that's what they're called. Yeah, Zagnoids. Um, to destroy the base and you're actually going to need a lot of them is what I found so about fill up your housing twice with them because their base is really hard to destroy so probably going to need a lot of magma for that so I'll just come back when they are done making I'm back here and my housing is filled up with Zegnoids so I'm just going to go ahead and attack this guy and show how I go about destroying this base. So these magma towers here are probably the hardest part, definitely on the sides. Um, eventually you're going to have to destroy the earthquake towers, but um, I don't know why, I guess it's just the pathing, but they decide to go around sometimes. But um, basically when they destroy those, you'll get a few towers done on these sides, like these, and then start destroying those two if you have enough monsters with you, but um, eventually they'll get down to the earthquake towers, and once they do that, you need to start attacking from the other side, so you can go about destroying the earthquake towers alone, because you don't want to have to deal with those with everything shooting at you, because then it will be impossible with just using Zagnoids, which is what I'm at now. So see... The Earthquake Tower is pretty destructive. Just took out all those. but um. So you just want to do that same thing on the other side. And then um, go about destroying the Earthquake Towers. So once you destroy basically um, half the... Well, both the sides except for maybe a few of these here... You're probably going to want to go and use some spurts to destroy, to like trip the mines here so you don't lose all your Zagnoids because if you put them there and they hit a trap, they'll get destroyed so easily. So you'll probably want to put a few there to trigger the traps so your Zagnoids don't have to deal with them. So here we go. I'll pause and return when this is done here. Alright, we got a compound full again, and we are just going to go and attack them again and see how it works out on this side. So we're going to go ahead and put them down. See what happens. And as you can see, the magma tower pretty much acts like a Tesla tower. It shoots some... Um, Constant, almost constantly, but um, it's pretty good. Earthquake towers for lower levels are the ones you really have to watch out for, because as you know, in regular backyard monsters, you can swarm a Tesla tower with pokies, but you can't swarm a laser tower with pokies. So it looks like my guys might be able to destroy this earthquake tower here, and it goes down pretty quick if you do that. So. I got about one side, well, most of the defenses are destroyed already. 
they will definitely not be able to destroy this little grouping here. So they, they'll they probably get this sharpshooter down and that's about it. But as you can see, unlike that side over here for some reason, the range of this tower, the earthquake tower, reaches to the sides of there. So now we're going to go ahead and um, build some spurts just to trigger all the traps that we need to go past. So I'll get about a full housing of those. And once again, I'll come back when it is finished. All right, guys, we got a full compound of spurts and some zagnoids just in case. So what you're going to want to do is actually um, put them on one side. Just get like a few of them, like three or four, so that they survive. Like they can't all get picked off. But I guess they want to do that. Oh, my bad. So yeah, there's some traps there. And you can just trigger them like that. It's pretty simple. Just You just want to make it so your Zagnoids have a clear path to go. And they won't get destroyed. So I think flinging them in there will keep them safe. So we'll actually see. I don't really care about spurts, you know. They're, they're okay for lower levels. But yeah, either way, I put them, the traps won't affect them. So I'm going to go ahead and build about maybe 10 or so Zagnoids. And that should definitely be enough to do this. So once again, come back when the, I'll come back to you when that's done. And I, I don't know, I guess I didn't realize that I had built that incubator right there. So, yep, pause it and come right back. All right, here we go. Got 14 Zagnoids and I guess five leftover spurts. So we're going to go ahead and attack this yard here. Now, a de like, what you're going to want to do after this is not get so many at a time to make sure that even though we tested out and the traps didn't seem to trigger, we just want to make sure be on the safe side. So don't put them all down at the same time. They should destroy that earthquake tower and then go about destroying those two sharpshooters. And now, wait here, just don't do not do anything yet because you don't want to, if, if you don't have Malphus yet, then just go ahead and let your monsters destroy the resource collectors. But if you do have Malphus unlocked, um, he's right here. You have to upgrade your strong box. But if you do have them unlocked, you're probably going to want to create two. Or you're probably going to create around six to help you out. So two in each incubator Incubator, if you have all of them. So once that's done, you probably know how that goes. But I'll just show you finishing off. I'll just show me finishing off the resource collectors and show you how much resources you get. Alright guys, this is the final part of what I'm going to show you. And this is just in case you're new to this game or something. But you probably already know how to collect resources from a undefended base. But you're going to want to um, put them in different groups just in case they do accidentally trigger a trap. And you're not going to want to put them like right around here. Because that will just increase the chance that they will trigger one. So, just in case, if they do, they're in three different groups, so they can go ahead and um, destroy the rest of the resource collectors, and I definitely will speed this up.
All right, so that just about finishes up base destroyed here. Um, as you can see up in the resources, it gives you about 42,000 bone, 43,000 sulfur, 40,000 coal, and 27,000 magma. Now, you can probably tell that the amount of magma spent was a lot bigger than the amount of magma gained. So it's a trade-off. You use a lot of magma, and you get a lot of the other resources. So if you add them all up, actually, from that, it will it will about equal the amount of magma you spent to make it. So I think it's a fair trade-off, and I do have my magma pumps a little bit more upgraded than my other ones. So that's about it for this video. I'll see you next time.